and we are back at it again with the Dell Inspiron 1300 from 2005. Last time we took a look at it, it was running Windows 7. Well, it ran the operating system itself quite okay. Web browsing was a little slow, a little sluggish. However, now we have Linux installed on it, specifically Debian 11 with XFCE as suggested by a few people in a Discord server. Let's see if Debian is a good fit for this laptop. So I got a stopwatch to measure the boot time. 3, 2, 1... So one second was lost because I had to press enter to select Debian from the group menu. So about one minute and four seconds to gain to Debian. So here is the Debian XFC desktop. Go to the terminal. Show the specs again. There we are, same specs as last video, it's around M1.5 GHz, 2 gigs of RAM, it's only using 300 megabytes, which is really nice to see. We also have the integrated GMA900. One thing that was kind of a pain in the ass to install was the Wi-Fi drivers, so keep that in mind. But once you're done with that, the user experience is okay actually. First off, we're going to try out all of the apps from the LibreOffice suite, which came included. You do have to wait some time, but... A second. There we are. You can write stuff. It's fine. I could write a video script on this laptop. It's quite decent. And general desktop usage is okay as well. So I can go the home folder. There we are. It's quite nice. You can open up another app like VLC, for example. No, thanks. So, yeah, that was actually pretty good. But now let's check out the web browser that Debian comes with. I think this is Firefox ESR. Okay, fine, loaded. Yeah, it comes with Firefox extended support release version 91.11. Probably cannot get any newer version due to the laptop being 32 bit only. But yeah, web browsing is actually a little bit better than on Windows 7. So we'll search for the same thing. It was quite fast. We'll click on the link. And there we are. That wasn't too bad. Scrolling is quite nice. You can read about stuff. Just fine. But yeah, web browsing 
is actually faster on here than on Windows 7. Currently have two extensions installed. It's got uBlock Origin and H.264 Fi. Video playback on YouTube is about the same as on Windows 7, if not a little bit worse. It's dropping a lot of frames, even at 360p. It could be because maybe we have worse drivers or something. I don't know. But either way, you won't be playing YouTube videos on this old laptop. Discord also works, although it's a little bit slow. But it's still sort of useful. And why not play a little game of Neverball while you're at it? It runs slow at first, but then frame rate climbs. And there's a good reason for that. This graphics chip kind of hates the particle effects in this game. I'll show you. It runs pretty smooth. You know, until you touch a coin and then the star particles show up. And goes like seconds for frame I won't call this playable at all it's really bad so is this laptop now usable with Debian installed? I would say yeah however you are still limited by the aging hardware in this machine I would say that the bare minimum nowadays is a core to duo but I would definitely recommend at least a Sandy Bridge Core i3 or Core i5. So yeah, this video was kind of boring. We only showed that Linux is a bit faster than Windows 7 on most basic tasks. But we also showed that there is still some life left in this 2005 budget laptop. So maybe it was a decent purchase back in the day. You can find some fun with this machine running a Linux distro. Thanks for watching.